but it to me it's like a sea foam type of color so it's like a softer alien color yes i'm going there i don't know how i'm describing this it's the doll circle and yes we're opening up the rest of series two shadow high i i again i know i sound like a broken record the last two videos i was like you know what i wasn't gonna do them and then everybody's like just unbox them even though they've been out a minute because i think these dolls really do stand out so much so i was like you know what they are each getting their own video of an unboxing <laughs> so today we're going to be opening up the I'm going to just say Novi Stars themed doll because that's basically what she is. I mean, there's, she's just a huge Novi Stars fan. And again, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, and I know we've all said it online, like, I hope this is a little moment that MJ is giving us of going, maybe Novi Stars is coming back. Maybe. Maybe this little hit, maybe this little moment. Maybe they wanted to do this and see, like, people's reactions, right? And everybody's reaction was like, oh my gosh, Novi Stars is coming back. So then now they're like, you know what? Let's bring them back. Maybe it was a test thing. I'm hoping so because this doll is obviously a super fan for Novi Stars from the laptop to her t-shirt to the little beautiful embroidered patch on the jacket. Again, very much Novi Stars fan in this doll. So I've said it before, square box, great for displaying. Only two dolls on the back versus the whole entire set series, which we've seen on some of the other packaging. And no second outfit, just accessories. But with this one, I am living for the accessories because the laptop has the Novi Stars, the bottle. I love the phone cases, just like with Monique. And now with this one, I just so much loving with the phone cases. So bad. So let's get Miss, I was going to say here, let's go say Moni. Zoe. Ah, so many names. Zoe Electra just makes me think of like a drag queen name. I'm living for it. it it's reminding me, I think it's like Dorian, is it Dorian Electra or Dorian Electric? I don't know. But it reminds me of one of those pop singers. Like it's just a lot. It's a lot. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's get Zoe out of the box. So I've been showing everybody, I love the back of the inside of the packaging. Oh, the art and like look at her i love her like holding her head here and just like oh uh, she needs headphones why does she not have headphones she's just so cute i love the art this is probably my favorite artwork so far she's just so cute oh look at her at the bottom here doing a little peace sign like great 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 art absolutely love it also the artist i was trying to think of is dorian electra i was like i'm like who's that dorian electra dorian I, like Dorian Electra. That's who I'm thinking of whenever I hear like Zoe Electra. Now I took her out of the box and this is exactly like I just pulled her out and I didn't like really shush her hair or anything. Um, there's a lot of product. <laughs> Definitely different than like Monique. Um, there is a lot of product kind of like more like how like Dia did where she was just like super crispy. This one's like half and half. It's like half crispy, half not. Um, I might trim her hair a little bit and then obviously brush it out. But I do love space buns because you know space theme i do love her buns i love her makeup she does have some marking on her face a little bit and i noticed this one because i have two i actually have two of her because she's my favorite so well top tier she's top tier uh <laughs> has more of a muted lip versus the other one i have has slight of a gloss lip is there a variant someone let me know but she does have some markings on her face like she's not super perfect on this one and i left the perfect one in the box so we'll see but i like her black eyeliner really defines her face her little earrings that look like little space connection plugs it looks like a plug maybe i don't know i just think it looks really interesting and my favorite piece my favorite piece which is so weird but i absolutely love it are the little plugs on her shoes socks with these shoes i don't know if i would totally wear myself but i love the little plugs look at them they're little like wall plugs like little cords little twisted cords with little plugs like that to me great design great creativity again the sock with the slip on shoe mm, mm. <laughs> not totally a design that i would personally ever wear but i could see her being you know i could see it happening i could see it being worn somewhere i just really like i said cannot get over the detail to these little plugs even have little like grips on the plug so when you like go to plug it in you can do it like so good so detailed and then of course the best piece on this doll is the jacket just stands out so much i love the little nasa references i love that has clips like it just looks like something so high end and makes sense that she would wear this like i feel like it's very much cohesive with her design so let's start on this panel here we have the novi stars embroidered patch we have patches that say clips and shadow on it and little straps like look at this little like supposed to be like a supreme strap like oh my god it's so cute it's so cute and then on this side we have it says sassy it says shadow again and it says commander because she is the leader of that spacecraft like 
<laughs> I just love it so much. I just like that they are real. Like they're not stickers and they're not printed. On the back, we have these little like bungee poles to make the jacket tighter and it's a shadow on it. Like, again, this looks like a jacket that I would pay hundreds of dollars for because it looks so detailed. And even down to the zipper isn't printed on, it's actual plastic material, even down to the detailing of a real zipper pole. Like obviously you can't really zipper the jacket, but that would be crazy if you could. Um, but it just has the detailing of the zipper and it is lined as well. So again, gives you that, and it's satin lined, not just like regular like cotton lined. So it really, really gives you again that detail of realism. And the shirt on the inside is just a regular little cropped white tanked or yeah, quite, wait, white cropped t-shirt, ooh, words. And we've seen this before with Rain Behind Shadow High where they've said like shadow, where they said rainbow, you know? So, but this time we have a sticker and it has nervy stars on it, which is so, so cool, so great. Like again, they're giving us that little hint where maybe it's coming again in the future. Look at this cute skirt, which just fits her very well. And that's one thing with these outfits, and I love the little slits here on the side. One thing with like a lot of the Rainbow High and Shadow High outfits, not all of them, because some are really hard to get on and off because they're so tight, but I noticed they really fit the body well on the doll because <laughs> as much as you, you hear me always joke that I buy my fashionista Barbies and I love my little Barbie extras and stuff, uh, I don't like the potato sack dresses. I don't like just a square piece of fabric, pfft, it's a dress. No, 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 like, I can't do that anymore. And I feel like with Rainbow High and Shadow High, we're so used to like getting the quality being up here, like top tier, great, you know? And again, I get it. Like Mattel's obviously a different type of world of doll now, but it's something about where they just, the outfit just fits them so well. Now, again, some of the outfits are hard to get on. Some of the pants, like I think it was the Rainbow High closet came with a pair of jeans in there to this day. They're just sitting in the closet. Like I cannot fit them. I've tried. <laughs> they don't go on the doll. Like they just don't fit because they're just so, they're supposed to be like jeggings, I guess. So yes, there are some flaws sometimes when they are so form fitted, but this just like frames the hip and the waistline so well. And it's a real pleathery material, not some hard little cotton. <laughs> We're getting detail. I mean, the only negatives really with her would be like the crispiness to her hair, but I feel like so many of us doll collectors now wash and restyle like the doll's hair. Like I'm getting better. I do have to say, even though I'm having so much trouble with this one, look at this, look at this mess. I've, I've literally washed and brushed it so many times and it's I think crazier than when I started. So certain dolls, no, but <laughs> this one, I feel like I've seen so many people do it and I feel like it would work really well. I just feel like her face is so striking and that makeup with the eyebrow kind of blended and the circles on there, like it just makes her look so fantasy alien, but still also wearable if that makes any sense. Like, I feel like you could see somebody wearing that. Now she does come with, of course, the hangers, which we've all kind of chuckled at, like no outfits, but hangers <laughs> uh, in a teal, like kind of, this one's more, hmm, the green is different than her skin tone. I would say this is more like a seafoam green. And then blue, cause it's like straight up like blue glitter. It reminds me of like Skylar stand, to be honest with you. It really doesn't really look like a stand that I would see for her, but it is a glittery color with the comb. And then, Oh, the little, like her, like, I was gonna say flask. It's not flask. <laughs> her water bottle and her phone case and phone, which on the phone has Novi star symbol on there. And then the case has little moons and little like stars. It's such a cute phone case. So cute, like very well detailed. I'll show you here in the packaging. So you can see close up where like the phone case has the little stars and moons on it. The little, this actually matches the same color as her and it says shadow on there. And on the back of the laptop, let me get it out so I can show you how cute this laptop is, which yes, we're not getting a second outfit, right? And I'm, I don't like that. Like I personally like the outfits, but if they're going to give us accessories only and not a second outfit, at least these accessories I will give you is good. Like it's good, good. Like look at this. They could have just given you a square little piece of plastic and was like, it's a laptop. And we've seen that with doll pieces where it's just like a square piece of plastic and it's supposed to be like, I don't know, a computer, so it's not good, right? Look at the back of this laptop. So when it sits on their desk, it says commander and has stickers on it. Like this looks like like I have stickers on my laptop. I think most people do. Like this looks real, right? I love that. And I mentioned that in Dia's video where if you're going to make doll pieces, when you give them that little bit of like realist, like hyper realistic, realistic moments to it, like it just makes it more real. I love that. I love that feeling of holding a doll laptop and going, this looks like a real laptop instead of where it's just a solid pink 
plastic piece where you're supposed to go, okay, I know it's supposed to be a book or a purse, but it's just like a hard piece of plastic in one color. I feel like that reduces or limits the imagination and play, not only for like kids who play with them, but I feel like also for like doll photographers, doll collectors, us have, a, I have multiple doll houses. I like the idea of having pieces that look real. I feel like so many people buy miniatures for that reason. So you can put it in your dollhouse so it looks real. And so if you're gonna take away the second outfit, at least give us something that looks so real like this laptop. Like, you know what I mean? Something like this, that's really, really cute. Or give us, you know, phone cases with separate phones, like that detail, so good. And I love that, and again, it's, it's not, it's not, it's at the point where yes, kids can play with it, but it's also not ch too childish where I'm like, okay, this is for like toddler level play. No, like the detail is really good. So I feel like a kid can appreciate it because it's like, oh, it's a little phone case, you know, or an adult <laughs> collector can be like, oh my gosh, it looks like a real phone case. That's so cool. So I think you're hitting multiple layers with that. So I don't know if that's the direction that they're going in now with fine. They're giving us the accessories, but they're going to give us like these. Woo! The phone just flew across the room. Really good detailed accessories because with that I'm fine with. And for those of you, as I drop the phone on the floor, cannot see. Okay, um, I think I showed it in the Monique video because she comes with a phone. Phone, phone case, obviously it's an iPhone, we can tell. Phone clips in there and they're easy to pop out of too. So you can switch the cases in the phone with the other dolls. And there's a little, hopefully you can see because it's clear. Can you see that? There's like a little plastic hole here. I don't know if the my phone my phone my camera doesn't want to focus on that but there's a little thumb holder so when you have her beautiful green acrylics oh i love that maybe i want green nails next i don't know the purple theme I, I i got the purple theme going so now maybe i'll do green look at that it clips under her hand and she can hold it perfectly that is so so good like so good like so good like i can't get over how again very cohesive with the style she is into fashion i believe her book said let me double check i want to say fashion focus yeah fashion design focus so i can definitely see that with the jacket going on brand with like the whole space theme but then also i love the touches of like the pleather and the green which is not green alien like kind of campy green like my eyeshadow is just like green but it to me it's like a sea foam type of color so it's like a softer alien color Yes, I'm going there. I don't know how I'm describing this. And then to me, where you really get the fashion design aspect, which I was watching Melissa's video and totally agree, the little plugs is really cool. Like whoever sat there and was like, we're gonna put little plugs on her shoes, genius. Like that really shows me like, oh, this is a fashion focused character. And I love her hair. It really, really so pretty. And then the glitter hair, eyeshadow goes with the hair, so good. Again, there's a little tinsel in the hair, but not so much where I'm like, oh my gosh, the whole head is tinsel. It looks cute. And the communicator earrings is very interesting. But yeah, that's, I mean, I know I'm just ranting on and on about how cool she is. Let me know in the comments what you think. Again, I think the direction of Shadow High has gotten so fantasy, but I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. I, if anything, I think I'm, I'm starting to enjoy it more because I'm unboxing them. Hmm. See, maybe that was it. Maybe when I did my doll chat video about like how Shadow High has evolved, unboxing them and looking at them. I'm like, I could care less what they're trying to be because they're just so good. <laughs> like be fantasy, be color. Okay. You know, I just really like the direction that they're going and it's just really, really good. All right. So no more ranting. Let's <laughs> hit off in the comments. What do you think of Zoe Electra, which again is such a drag name, but I feel like so many Rainbow High and Shadow High characters have drag names. I love it. All right. Until next time, make sure to check out more stuff from me in the description below. And I will unbox some more of the series two Shadow High dolls. I'm actually having a lot of fun doing it. Thank you for convincing me. All of you out there that messaged me was like, you need to review these. I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> All right, until next time. Bye, everybody.